In this video, you're going to learn what the best foods are to grow long, thicker hair. Make sure to stay tuned to find out what they are. Hey guys, Leon here and welcome to the Hair Guard YouTube channel. On this channel, we do tons of science-backed videos all about how you can combat hair loss and regrow healthy hair. If you are new here, consider subscribing. You can also take the Hair Guard Hair Loss Quiz by clicking the link in the description. And guys, just before we get into it, let me know in the comments below what foods have actually helped you with the health of your hair. So guys, best foods to promote hair growth and amazing looking hair. Let's do this. The first that we want to look at is iron rich foods. Now, when it comes to your hair, there is perhaps no more fundamental and at the same time easily avoidable dietary deficiency than that of iron. It has been understood for close to a century that iron deficiency is a key factor in diffuse hair loss, especially in women. Believe it or not, a whopping two thirds of women with diffuse hair loss are believed to be iron deficient, as evident by low serum ferritin. And I'm not talking about some recent breakthrough study or controversial theory. This is a well-established mundane science that you will find in any introductory dermatology or hair loss textbook. We have covered low iron and serum ferritin levels in a previous video as well as in the Hair Guard blog and I've linked both of those in the description below. Now there are plenty of iron rich foods such as red meat, chicken, turkey, ham, veal, seafood like clams, mussels, oysters and fish. So basically you want to be consuming moderate portions of these animal products but we would not recommend overdoing it. Other non-animal sources of iron that can be consumed by both vegetarians and meat eaters alike are beans, tofu, chickpeas, apricots, and baked potatoes. The second type of foods are fresh vegetable juices and smoothies. Now these are the best ways to alkalize your body and provide the necessary micronutrients to support healthy hair follicles. Micronutrients are trace minerals, vitamins, and phytochemicals that our body needs to carry out its various functions. These micronutrients are contrasted to macronutrients that are the large bulky molecules that your body needs in mass, like proteins, fats, and carbohydrates. Now, while all food contains macronutrients, this is definitely not the case with micronutrients. It's certainly not the case with typical junk food diets that are found in our industrialized world. So for example, you can eat an extra large pizza with a pint of beer and receive your necessary calories for the day. But this kind of food will do nothing to provide you with the thousands of micronutrients that your hair follicles and rest of your body need. The best sources of micronutrients are brightly colored fruits and vegetables. And probably the best way to extract the massive quantities of these micronutrients is through juicing them. Now, for those of you out there that can't be bothered juicing and prefer something a bit more filling, smoothies are definitely the way to go. Now, there's definitely no shortage of smoothie recipes out there, but in today's video, we would like to bring to your attention the berry smoothie that was developed by Will Hergard's founder. Over more than a year, using trial and error, Will specifically developed this smoothie as a nutritional addition to his hair care routine, specifically as protection against male pattern baldness. Guys, I've linked to the recipe in the description below, and as you can see, the ingredients include berries, banana, hemp protein, coconut oil, essential oils, and more. Which brings us to the next food on our list, and one that is also included in Will's berry recipe. You guessed it, but we are looking at probiotics. Now, a recent study that we covered in a previous video, which I've also linked to below, highlighted the potential for probiotics, like Lactobacillus ruteri, to provide dramatic hair and skin benefits to laboratory rats. Understandably, the study created quite a sensation in the hair loss community, and while it is too early to say with 100% confidence that the addition of probiotics to your diet is guaranteed to produce results, it is something that we definitely recommend. You can get probiotics from yogurt, but due to certain issues with dairy products, which we will come to shortly, you might also want to consider getting your probiotics from other sources like sauerkraut, kombucha, and kefir. You can also take probiotics, including Lactobacillus ruteri, directly in the form of supplements. Now, this is a video about the top foods that you should be consuming if you want to promote hair growth, but we should also make a brief mention about the foods that you should be avoiding. The obvious foods that you want to be avoiding at all costs are those that can trigger allergic reactions. These can cause autoimmune reactions that lead one's own immune system to attack the hair follicles as well as lead to inflammation in the scalp. You also want to be avoiding acidic foods as these can lead to an over acidic internal environment which can contribute to hair loss. Dairy foods tick both these boxes being both acidic 
and likely to cause low level allergic reactions. This applies essentially to the commercially available dairy foods that have been pasteurized, destroying vital enzymes in the process and rendering them very difficult to digest. But the king of all acidic foods are fizzy drinks. These are perhaps the most acid forming foods that you can consume and lead to all sorts of health problems way beyond hair loss. Other foods to avoid are sugary cereals and greasy foods which can clog the arteries and lead to greasy scalp skin. We've covered all these bad foods that you want to be avoiding at all costs in a previous video and you can find it in the description below. Guys don't forget to let us know in the comments below what foods have helped your hair health and you can check some other food videos about hair loss by clicking on the screen now.